У нас конституция не под женщину. И у нас общество не созрело для того, чтобы голосовать за женщин. Потому что у нас по конституции президент... got used to think that men are power, but I can show that women are even more power than our men. The day when uh, candidates for presidency uh, print documents for registration into election commission, I brought my document instead of my husband. He was in jail at that moment and his Documents were not accepted, and it's normal for Belarus to put in jail uh, people for their civil position. I didn't see another opportunity to support him just to uh, print my documents instead of him. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure if, you, if uh, I want these congratulations, you know. Uh, I'm sure uh, they registered me just to make love at me. But uh, people, they supported me and it was like a shock for uh, authorities. So they just had to leave me uh, to show that there is a hint of democracy in these elections. So they, at that moment that they uh, left the weakest person as they thought. Uh, I got an offer from uh, Paparikas and Tipkala staff to join uh, all the people around one candidate and of course I agreed. So it was the uh, unity not of three staffs but the unity of all the Belarusian people. Uh, I am a press secretary of Svetlana Tikhanovska. I am a volunteer. It was requests from Svetlana for a political program for, for her campaign. And our experts, uh, Alexander uh, and uh, Eugenio Krasulin, who, was my who is my husband, yeah, they are experts in program of UCP, United Civil Party, and they helped to prepare a program for Svetlana. My program was uh, very short and extremely understandable for all people. Freedom for all politician prisoners, change of constitution and uh, organization of new elections that will be free and transparent and fair. There were a lot of uh, our initiatives that were organized to count real numbers of the elections. First of all, we call people to make pictures of their um, the ballots. ballots. Ballot. Thank Ballot. you, yeah. And just to send them to a special platform where we could count them. Uh, during the, the whole election campaign, we persuaded people who are in election commission to count, uh, to count honestly. We are getting reports that the main opposition candidate in Sunday's election night might be missing. Her staff has told Euro Radio that they've lost contact with her and that her whereabouts are currently unknown.
she uh, just had not so many options uh, and she was forced to take decision to leave the country. We understood that she experienced really some pressure. It was not easy time during the detention. We don't know what happened precisely. Uh, she is in Lithuania. She is safe, uh, united with her family. And this is the main message for now. Let me now introduce our distinguished prefer, Mrs. Svetlana Tsikhanovskaya, a former presidential candidate and the leader of the National Movement for Democracy and Free Elections. Mrs. Tsikhanovskaya, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Today, my country, Belarus, is in turmoil. Peaceful protesters are being illegally detained, beaten, and imprisoned. The protests themselves started after a cynical and blatant attempt by Mr. Lukashenko to steal the votes of the people. Now I'm here doing my best to tell the world, to the whole world, about what's going on in the small country, but with brave people. Uh, interview Svetlana. Uh, I don't have hope. I am sure that we will win because we don't have another choice. Do you feel now that everything you're doing here is still about supporting him as well? For sure. It's, uh, uh, it's not about supporting him and other politician prisoners, but it's uh, about supporting the Russian people, about supporting human rights, about supporting our rights to uh, speak, to stand, to clap, to elect. Dear Oslo Freedom Forum participants, thank you for fighting for freedom and democracy. When my husband, who wanted to run for president was jailed because of the, his desire to build a new country for life. Uh, I wanted to support him and I gave my documents to the election commission. So my first step towards presidency was for love. And uh, only after this, when I saw the support of Belarusian people, I understood that I can't give up what I have started and uh, continue this election campaign. <laughs> this election was different for a lot of reasons. First of all, because uh, Belarusian people woke up and self-consciousness of Belarusian people uh, has changed. And now we really understood that we don't want to live in this regime anymore. We don't want to live under this pressure anymore. We don't want a dictator to be a leader of our country anymore. And um, we understood this and we understood that we will have to fight for our freedom. We will have to fight for uh, our future. This year we are united and we felt ourselves like a nation, not a separate people of one country, but a nation. We understood that we are together, that uh, one for all and all for one. It is extremely important to fight for freedom and democracy because freedom is given not by authorities, not by government, but it is fundamental freedom that is given by birth. What inspires Belarusian people in the streets right now? I think the feeling that at last they have, I don't know, opportunity to prove that they are people, that they are nation, that they deserve to live in a free country, that they have right to be respected. They have right to be respected by 
our government. My future Belarus is free and safe. Um, I'm not afraid to speak. I feel safe on the streets. Uh, the police in future Belarus is a respected profession. We know that they protect us, but not beat. Authorities in my Belarus are working for people, for country, but not only for their pockets. My future Belarus is friendly to all the countries in the world. I'm asking world to be vocal about our situation because when you are talking about us, when you understand why we are fighting for our rights, why you are, while you are supporting us, it means that we are important to the world and we are important.